Hey everyone, I just wanted to go ahead and show you one of my fun little finds here on Amazon that I have absolutely loved. It's the soap dispenser, this automatic soap dispenser. It is so easy to use and so convenient and I love having it with all of my kids um, for a lot of reasons, mostly because it keeps them from touching the hand soap so there's no grime or stickiness or germs on the hand soap and because it keeps the soap from dripping around the sink and it's a lot less mess for me to clean up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we um, put this together here and use it in our home. I have a couple different sizes. I have this smaller one here that we use in our bathrooms. Just It's a little more compact um, for that area. For my kitchen sink and my guest bathroom or my bathroom that gets used the most often, I use the bigger size, which is like this one here. Um, all you do is take one third part soap and that can be any kind of soap that you want to use. I use dish soap, just the Dawn dish soap because it's cheap and it works and it's effective. And I just use a measuring cup so I can do it all in one place and then I fill them all up at the same time. And I use warm water so that the soap dissolves quickly. So I'm going to fill this up. About there with a third of a cup of dish soap, like that, and I just give it a quick little stir to mix it. You can also do this in the bottle, I just have found that it's more effective if you mix it in another container first and get the soap and the water mixed together really well. It will work the other way too, it just takes a minute for them to to get together there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in the, back into the container. Try not to spill. I did a little there. I'll just wipe off the extra. Go ahead and take the tube that came with it and put it in the container. It doesn't have to be flush when you first put it on. And this just kind of sets on top like that. Then you give the top a quick little three second push. The light turns on. And then you just simply put your hand under and out comes the foam. Super easy, super effective, super cost effective. No touching for the kids, or if your hands are dirty and grimy from cooking in the kitchen or you touch some meat, you just put your hand in there and out comes the foam. And we also have an automatic faucet, so nobody touches that either. Just turn that off. If you are interested in the faucet, I have that linked in another blog, and you can look that up. I'll put it at the bottom of this one. If you're interested in these, they'll be in this blog. Um, this one is great too, like I said, turned them off to bring them in here but you just put your hand under and there's the foam. I'm going to be putting these in all of my showers for body wash and it just helps it to go a little bit farther since we're using so much soap washing our hands and everything right now. Plus I like having the foam for the body wash so that I can shave my legs different things like that. I like it coming out like that. Um, what else can I show you with this? With the one here by my sink is the same as this big one here. I'll show you on this one so you can see a little bit better. I like to keep one of these scrubbers nearby so that if something's really sticky or stuck on a pan or a plate, I can go ahead and do this really quick before I stick it in the sink. And if I'm in between loads on the um, dishwasher, then it's not sitting in there getting all grimy. But I just go ahead and take the scrubber that I keep laying around and I put it underneath this and the foam goes right onto the scrub brush. And then I can use it to scrub my plates really quick if I don't have a sink full of dishes going or if I just want to keep it clean, like I said, until the next wash comes out. Right. That's my, probably my favorite feature is this right here, especially when I'm watch, washing pans or um, trying to keep things clean as I go. I can just quickly wash it off, give it a quick rinse, rinse here. And, um, 
my life easier, which I'm always happy about, and it's effective and and takes care of everything all at once and super quick and easy. Anyway, that's it for today. Just wanted to show you those quick little finds. And again, if you're interested in the soap dispensers, those will be linked here. The sink we got at we got from Costco. It has been my very favorite purchase that we have gotten for this house and we've been slowly remodeling. I wish I'd had it when I had young babies because when you have a baby on your hip and you're trying to make a bottle or you're trying to clean up lunch or you're making dinner and you have things on your hands and you need to rinse them and you just don't want to touch the faucet, whatever that may be, or you just need to quickly turn the faucet on and off, this has been a great purchase. I would look into that if you're interested. I like this one particularly because it has the sensor up here at the top of the faucet and not down here at the bottom. Um, mostly because I like to be able to control when I'm turning it on and off. There are some times when I'm rinsing food and the steam comes up and turns the, the steam from the food comes up and, turn, and, and will trigger the automatic faucet. But I didn't want it coming on every time that I walked over to the sink, which I think it would do if you were doing something down here. Because sometimes I'll just set something in the sink and I didn't want it, if you don't want it to come on, it'll come on in your, you know, your food or if you're not ready to rinse your pasta, you didn't want it to come on. Um, so that's why I purchased the one with the sensor up at the top. It also has, you know, the pull down feature and it has the light that comes on. I don't know if you can see that right now because it's light outside, but I like that too. So if you come in and need to sink during the night time or if, People are in the room here next to where my TV is and you need to use the sink and don't want to turn on the light, you can come over and use it and the light comes on. Um, anyway, one of my very favorite features, you do have to have a plug to plug it into underneath the sink, um, but it also has the feature to turn on and off the faucet. I'm going to move these out of the way here so that you can see to turn on and off the faucet if you want to do it manually or if you don't want it to be triggered by the automatic feature. Um, anyway. One of my very favorite purchases would do it in every home that we own from here on out. Also, I um, wanted to show you some of my new sweatshirt that I've got on here. This is for the Miss Self Defense for Self Defense Saturday. We are working on Miss Self Defense, but for now, with everything with COVID going on, we're going to go ahead and just forward Miss Self Defense over to Self Defense Saturday. There's a lot that's going to be coming on that day and on that channel. Um, just for now, it's going to be coming through Crafty Wildflower Self-Defense Saturday until things get evened out and we have that up and going. So anyway, look for that there. We're also going to have shirts that you can purchase on our website for Miss Self-Defense and also for Crafty Wildflower if you're interested in that. And that's it for today. Have a great day.